Hello guys, welcome back to another segment. You know the way we normally do it. I'm always here to give you updates that concerns Chelsea. Before I proceed, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and you are doing well too. And again, up Chelsea for life, up Chelsea for life. I'm sorry that I did not do the live chat yesterday due to some network breakdown. We are having serious network issue over this side. That is why we cannot come up live. We tried, we tried, and it was not working. So I decided that maybe today we would try it again. And if we come up, we we'll discuss about the top four of Chelsea. If Chelsea will qualify for the top four in the Premier League. But now I have the Champions League draw to talk about and also some players that will be leaving chelsea and also some players contracts and also possible strikers that chelsea might sign but before i proceed to all these talking details please, can you like the video you know that whenever i like this video it helps youtube to recommend this video to other chelsea fans around the globe and also don't fail to subscribe to this channel because whenever you subscribe you always get updated from this channel all right let's proceed the um UEFA Champions League draw and that draw will be proceed we proceed whether tomorrow yes I guess tomorrow tomorrow they'll do the draw for the UEFA Champions League but before we do that before we proceed for tomorrow on let's speculate for tomorrow let's see if my speculation will work let's see if my prediction for the champions league quarterfinal draw will come out the way i say it you understand you can also drop your own at the comment section your own prediction for the champions league quarterfinal draw so i i, I let me proceed and uh, we have Bayern Munich, benfica chelsea inter milan in uh, man city ac milan napoli and Real Madrid, they have all qualified for the quarter final. Definitely, likewise, your club Chelsea has also qualified for the quarter final. And also, we are hoping to go further to the semi final. So, my prediction when it comes to the quarter final draw, I want it to go like this. I don't know for you guys, at least Chelsea should face Inter Milan, like the way it's trending online. Chelsea should face Inter Milan. Bayern Munich should face Benfica. AC Milan should face Man City. Napoli should face Real Madrid. What do you think? Just like the way I've predicted it. Also, other sports uh, sites have predicted it like this also. I was having it in mind. I predicted it like this in my mind. So, I don't know what's your take on this. If Chelsea should face uh, Inter Milan. For me, I would prefer Inter Milan understand but i'm not scared right now even some clubs some of these clubs they are even scared of playing chelsea see forget about what chelsea is going through right now when you come to champions league football there's one spirit that guides chelsea irrespective of irrespective of the manager that is coaching chelsea whether you like it or not whether you accept it or not but that's the truth there's this spirit that guides them when it comes to the Champions League game. So I believe that Chelsea is going to go for and they are going to do better in this Champions League, whether you like it or not. You understand? I don't care. As it stands now, I don't care the team that you are, they are giving to us. If they like, let them give us Benfica. We are ready now. We are equal to the tax. We are equal to the tax. As far as Champions League is concerned, we are equal to the tax. Not the first and second leg. I've been a one-one leg. No, now nah. They will play home. They will play away. You understand? I'm very happy that... After all the ginger and everything, everything last last now see Chelsea and Man City qualify from England. You understand? So we have Chelsea, uh, Chelsea Inter Milan. That's my prediction for the quarter final draw. If they are to give us anybody, Chelsea Inter Milan. I want Chelsea to face Inter. Then let them give Benfica to Bayern Munich. They match their style of football. Make them kill themselves there. Then Man City, AC Milan. Anyhow, I know I'm. Man City, they are not taking it uh, softly with any club. Any club they meet, they want to dismantle, they want to scatter, and they want to bury that club alive. Then Napoli, Rimaji, let me see. I would love to see that 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 banger. Napoli, Rimaji, I want to see that. I would love to watch that match. Again, um, some players will be leaving this summer. The summer transfer. According to PYS, he said that the first list of candidates for possible departure include Messi Mann, Matthew Kovacic, Zizas Nukreta, Christian Pulisic, Abamian, and Loftus Cheek. All have one year left on their deal. Well, as for Messi Mount, I told you guys now, the contract is still shaking. The contract is still shaking. Chelsea have not settled down to see if they can balance well with this guy. 
You understand? And I told you guys that anything that makes Chelsea to sign Joe, uh, Joe Jao Felix, anything that makes Chelsea to sign Jao Felix, definitely Miss Mount is going out. I don't know, but that is the way I see it. If Chelsea should, should sign Jao Felix, Miss Mount will be leaving the club. Then this other guy, Matteo Kovacic, I don't think Chelsea will we let my Tukovati go because with the current information we are getting this morning is that talks are ongoing for an extension of contract for Matthew Kovacic. So I don't think Kovacic will be going anytime soon. You understand? They will extend his contract. Ah, yes, they will give him one or two years. You get me? So going out, going soon, I don't, I don't think so. Then how, as for players, they, they don't even include Hakim Ziyech here. They're supposed to include Hakim Ziyech in, on this list. As for Ziyech, definitely Ziyech will be leaving this summer. Zier should leave because normally he's supposed to go to PSG on a loan deal, but the deal did not pull through on the dying minute of transfer day. That deal did not pull through, it was broken down. I don't know why. You understand whether they say wrong document was signed or wrong document was sent. The guy has already prepared to fly to PSG, but the document wasn't signed and sealed. You understand? So definitely Zier should leave. Christian Pulisic is looking door in the team this period. So definitely, I don't think Pulisic right from time, right from last year. On that Thomas Tuchel, I, I, I was not even expecting politics to be in Chelsea team now. By this this January transfer that just passed, he's supposed to have left Chelsea by now. So definitely, I believe that Pulisic will be leaving Chelsea. Then as for Abamian, that one is for sure. Abamian will be leaving Chelsea. That one is not a two-way thing. It's not something that we should argue about. It's not something that we should drag about. It's a straightforward thing. Abamian will be leaving Chelsea. You understand? Then as for Caesar's Piqueta, normally Caesar don't tire. He don't try. He has been a legend. For me, he's a legend in Chelsea. So him leaving Chelsea at this period, it's not, it's not, a, it's not, a, it's not a bad deal. You understand? No problem. I, I, for me, I will, I will, I will, I will accept it. Let him go. You understand? Let him go. Caesar has tried for Chelsea. Let him go. Then lost to cheek. Omo, that boy got to leave Chelsea. Lost to cheek has to leave. Chelsea. See, the boy is not growing. The boy doesn't want to improve. If he if loves after of ten games, loves to stick and play two games accurately. The remaining eight, nothing, nothing come out. Let's tell ourselves the truth. You will play ten games, but two will be accurate. The remaining eight, nothing come out for that guy. They need to sell him. Then as for the striking force, as for the striking force, well, this guy that is trending in Inter Milan, this is their second striker. This other guy that is playing alongside Vitor Simeon has I've forgotten his name. That guy is a very good option. You understand? If Chelsea should go for any strike, any forward, that that guy is a good one. But though the problem now is that Lukaku will be coming back. I mean, in Napoli, he plays alongside Vitor Simeon. That guy is a very good player. He's a very good striker. You understand? Since uh, I, I don't think Napoli will be releasing Vitor Simeon this summer transfer, I don't think so. I don't think so, but if they are to re release Victor Simeon, it's based on the player's choice. If the player insists that he wants to go, just like Enzo Fernandez, that insisted that he wanted to leave Benfica, that his mind was not already in Benfica, was already in Chelsea. Except it goes that way, you understand? For me, uh, Victor Simeon is a very good striker. Likewise, this guy to Hurricane. Hurricane is a very good striker, but... Um, uh, I don't think that's how we say Hurricane to Chelsea, and I don't think Hurricane will even come, like to come to Chelsea. Never can tell. This is football, anything can happen. Then, um, this other guy, Lukaku, Lukaku returning to Chelsea. Do you think it will he's going to convert and fit to the um, Potter's football? Let's just watch, uh, let's just watch and see if Lukaku should come back and do it. Definitely buying a new striker won't be an idea for Chelsea again. I don't think it would be an ideal thing for Chelsea to get a new striker. He gets me once Lukaku is back and also Broja is also putting himself together too to come back to the team. Likewise, um, Eduardo Mendy, the goalkeeper too, is preparing himself. He's back already. He's, he's preparing very hard and I don't think Mendy will stay in Chelsea till the ending of this season. Definitely, maybe. In the summer transfer is going to be leaving Chelsea if care is not taken. You understand? Because I don't, I don't see Mendy getting a space in Chelsea. Again, I don't see him getting that space or that chance for him to do what he he knows how to do best in the club. I don't see him getting that space because so many contracts has been given to him and so many has been turned down. So I don't see him 
getting that chance in chelsea but so far so good that'll be all for now and like i said before i'm very very sorry for not coming up live for to, for the live chat yesterday to talk about the top four competition in the premier league if chelsea will qualify for the top four i'd not come live because we are having some network issues but definitely today we'll go again and we'll try again if it works definitely you see me come online and the live chat should should kick off by 7 p.m this evening 7 p.m at the dot later 7 30 but 7 p.m expect us by 7 p.m for the live chat and let's discuss about the top four for chelsea thank you very much like i said before don't forget to like the video share and also subscribe to this channel thank you